Hi, my name is Alexa Rosenblum and I am a genetic counselor. I currently live and work in Tucson, Arizona, where I'm one of two oncology genetic counselors in the entire city. Um, I graduated in May 2019 from Long Island University in New York, and then I have worked in my practice as a clinical genetic counselor um, pretty much ever since June of 2019, so it's been about 18 months. Um, I love my job more than I love anything else. Um, sometimes my friends ask me, you know, what my hobbies have been and things like that, and I truly say that my job is my hobby. Um, I'm constantly doing things for genetic counseling in and outside of work, um, you know, spending my weekends and after work uh, doing things that can help me and help others in the field. So the number one question that people ask me is, what is a genetic counselor? What do you do? Um, which is a totally valid question. There are only about 5,000 certified genetic counselors in the whole country. Um, and basically, my job as a genetic counselor is extremely important because I am the person that helps everybody understand their genetic health risks, whether that be their risk for cancer or their risk for fetal abnormalities um, for pregnant women, or just straight up if, you know, there are symptoms of a genetic disorder that are suspected, then I'm kind of the person that orders the testing and helps the patients understand what exactly their risks are and how to manage those risks. So as an oncology genetic counselor, I specifically work with patients who either have a personal history of cancer and are currently undergoing treatment, or a past history of cancer where they've already completed treatment, or I also work with um, unaffected individuals who you know might have a family history of cancer and kind of want to know what that means for them so I think that oncology genetic counselors are extremely extremely instrumental in the field because not only are we working as preventative medicine practitioners but we are also helping with early detection which are two of the more most important things that you can do when you're trying to screen for cancer so um, essentially you know I got into genetic counseling because I realized that not only do I really like working with people, but I think that understanding your genetic health risks is one of the most important things that you can possibly do, especially with direct-to-consumer genetic testing, you know, at-home genetic testing becoming so popular and then people getting their results and really not understanding kind of what they mean. Um, so to me, to be a genetic counselor is just important because there are not enough of us and with the number of people who are doing genetic testing and kind of not understanding their results, um, it's extremely important for us to be active and take on as many patients as, the, as we can so that we're able to help these people understand and then therefore be proactive in their health as well as um, helping their family members understand what they should do to be proactive. So um, when I was in graduate school getting my master's in genetic counseling, I worked as a server for about five hours a week, um, which did not work out. Um, I realized that me studying and you know, working towards this goal of becoming a genetic counselor, which was my absolute dream job, was more important than anything else. So I suffered a lot of financial strain. I did have to take out a pretty hefty loan um, and I'm still working on paying that back. So it's become um, kind of a struggle for me to be able to do that, but it is extremely worth it to me to be able to be in this role and helping patients at this point. So, um, you know, just working on getting that paid off, um, which is why this grant would be extremely, extremely extremely valuable to me. Um, in my 18 months that I've been practicing, I have been doing a lot more than just being a clinical genetic counselor. I have helped to form a group that's called the Arizona Genetics Alliance, which is a group of genetic counselors who are working towards getting licensure, as we are currently just certified and not licensed, um, and working on getting more jobs created in the state of Arizona so that we can see more patients and be more helpful for those people. Um, so, being in the AGA, um, it's going to cost a lot of money to get the licensure bill and get everything going and getting those jobs created. So this grant would be helpful to me so that I could pay off my loan and then work towards setting those funds towards the, the goals of the AGA. Um, I'm really inspired for you know this field. I, I think that this is a wonderful field and it's growing so rapidly and I would be extremely, extremely grateful to receive this grant. Um, it would be amazing. Thank you so much.